Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a nice animation f uh, between frame 1 and frame 100, just so that we can get our heads around, make sure everyone understands, including you, um, exactly how keyframing works in Maya. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my playhead is on frame 1. Now at the moment, you can see that it's on frame 0, which means if we leave it like that, it'll cock up. So just click to make sure it's on frame 1 lovely okay the next thing I'm gonna do uh, because they're getting in my ways I'm gonna just hide the lights because all these lines all over the place are starting to look quite messy so if you just click on show in your panel menu and then click on lights that gets rid of that so that's much neater and then I want to click on my Sun shape and I'm just gonna press the F key to frame that up so that I can see what I'm doing like that so there we go. What I'm also going to do next, um, and this is an optional step, I'm going to turn off texture views by pressing number 5 because it's just starting to slow my machine down a little bit because it's poo. Um, so everything should now run a little bit smoother for me. Um, if you've got a really terrible computer, um, it's also a good idea sometimes to animate in wireframe. Okay, so what we need to do now is make sure that while you've got the sun selected that all the rotate values x y and z in your channel box are at zero because that's what we're going to animate with and then this is also an important step that i forgot to put in the last video um, click on your animation preferences again and then go to animation now at the moment yours will say um, auto in tangents okay yours will look like that that's wrong we don't want that um, because that will slow your animations down when they begin and when they end so we're going to put that to linear okay so then click on save we are now ready to create an animation so first things first make sure you're on frame one you've got your sun selected and then you're going to click on um, you're going to go up here first of all yours will be on the polygons menu set and you need to change to the animation menu set so you get the same menus as I've got and then you're going to click on animate set key and you can see that you can also press the S key to do that but I just wanted to show you where that was and that creates a keyframe down here this little red mark here indicates that I've put a keyframe on frame 1 so that means that the state that this is at is now saved so that's what I want to do now the next step in creating this animation is moving my slider my playhead to frame 100 making sure you've still got the sun selected go to the rotate Y value click on it change it to 360 and press enter now don't deselect it or move the playhead at this point otherwise it'll break what you need to do is press the S key to set another keyframe so you can now see that on frame 100 I have another keyframe frame 1 I've got a keyframe wonderful that's what I wanted to do now from that you can press the play button and you'll see that you've created your first animation and that will just spin round and round forever so you can see um, that it just goes on and on and on um, until you press stop just looping between frame 1 and frame 100 so that's it you have created your first animation um, the only thing with that is um, that we don't actually want to animate like that we're gonna remove all this so in the next video we're gonna remove all this animation uh, and start from scratch so that all the planets and moons and things can move at their own pace. So, see you in that video.